What's going on guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now, Bob Barron has been doing quite a few interviews recently. He was speaking about uh, the possibility of Shakur Stevenson returning in June and that will be like America's first uh, major event, boxing event, should I say, held behind closed doors. Uh, we're waiting for confirmation on that, but um, Andre Ward did come out yesterday also and say that that uh, Shakur Stevenson is ready should the call come so uh, let's see what happens with regards to that I think they're gonna have to make a decision soon if that is gonna be the case because like I said we're coming towards the end of May now and they're talking about this being on June the 9th so um, obviously there would be no tickets sold but still you're gonna want to get it out there as soon as you can so I'm surprised there hasn't been no announcement with her that yet but uh, moving on anyway um, I wanted to speak about um, the possibility of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder 3 happening elsewhere now I said a couple of days ago in a video that uh, Eddie Hearn uh, stated that Kubrat, Pulev and Anthony Joshua, those two who are scheduled to fight, is looking increasingly unlikely to not take place in the UK. Uh, the same is now being said for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 3, the trilogy. That doesn't look like it's going to be taking place in the US or the UK either. And I mean, it's obvious why, isn't it? I mean, with this whole pandemic, um, Bob Aram obviously showing the same view as Eddie Hearn that um, his fighter, he doesn't want his fighter to be fighting behind closed doors and in order for them two to get their fight on, I'm talking about Fury and Wilder, um, and try and maximise the most revenue they can, they're going to have to take it abroad and when you look at the potential suitors that will take that fight, straight away you've got to think of the Middle East, you've got to think of Saudi Arabia, you've got to think of the UAE, you've got to think of those particular places because they'll front up a lot of money for it and at the end of the day, uh, fighters want to get paid and for a fight as big as that, uh, these guys are going to want their money for it. So um, it's the same situation with uh, Anthony Joshua and Kubrat Pulev. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder 3 looking unlikely to take place in the US and the UK. And what sort of significant impact is that going to have on just the economy in general, the boxing economy? Uh, I'm going to do a separate video about that actually, like for the UK, like small boxing shows, like how are they going to be affected by it? Because this pandemic, like when you think about it, uh, it's going to affect boxing in a major way unless you're in um, unless you're part of one of the big promotional companies um, this is going to affect grassroots boxing for sure because i mean when are we going to be able to get crowds at a boxing event anymore um, we don't know this could go on for another few months at least so i'll do a separate video on that but yeah looking like tyson fury and deontay wilder free when it does eventually happen even when the lockdown is restricted they're going to move it elsewhere and that is obviously a result of there not being any major fans being allowed to attend any arenas or anything like that. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it anyway. Does this appeal to you? Did you want to see Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder free anyway? I'm sure you probably wanted to see the undisputed fight first. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it, man. Will it have an effect on the outcome of the fight as well? With it being, you know, outside of the US? I mean, who does that benefit more? Does it benefit Tyson Fury more? Or does it benefit Deontay Wilder more? So, um, I guess you can make arguments for both, but... Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below anyway, and I'll catch you on the next video tomorrow.